the Furious Combini flight controller. Check this thing out. It's got a built-in PDB, a built-in transponder, and it's an F3 flight controller. What more could you want for racing? To me, this has been built up, built from the ground up specifically for racing. You can see there's only four motor inputs. Um, a lot of other flight controllers go up to eight. We don't need eight. We only need four. Uh, you've got your battery input here. Also, your ESC inputs are all lined up nicely. So when you put your ESC on the arm, the wires come up here nicely and uh, you can solder your signal wires on here. So that's that's going to be really neat for building. It's going to save a lot of fiddling with wires. It should just come straight up to here. Solder on, no hassle. What else have you got on here? This port here is for plugging into the Piggy OSD. So they do a Piggy board for the HS1177 um, cameras, which fits fits onto the back of them, uh, which is the OSD, which is really cool. This board's also got a um, current meter built into it. So when you do plug your OSD in, you can get all your, you know, your battery information and your milliamp powers and that sort of thing, which is really cool. So just a quick look on the bottom. See on the bottom, it's just a bunch of uh, regulators and filters. It's got a um, LC filter on it as well for the 12 volts. So that's cool uh, for your FPV camera. Uh, no, so you shouldn't get any lines and that sort of stuff on it. As you can see, this is uh, mounted onto my X1 pod. And I'm going to be building it up uh, with this frame, so that should be that should suit this flight controller really well. As a pod frame, you need all the space you can get. Really, there's not a lot of real estate um, when you start building it up. So hopefully, this is going to be a really really good flight controller for this frame. I'm going to be going out and do some flight testing, uh, and I'll show you how it goes.